Hello, welcome to the BK100% Reverse Arby tutorial. In this video, we're going to go over Spiral Mountain and Mumbo's Mountain. Right before we start, I want to mention a few quick things. We're going to be using Furnace Fun moves, if you, uh, which just allows us to have the moves when we enter Mumbo's Mountain. If you'd like to learn more about that, then read the link in the description to learn how to set it up. I'm going to be running on version 1.0 on NTSC, which is the fastest version currently. There's a link in the description to learn about the regional differences, but most versions are applicable with this tutorial. Uh, and finally, I'm going to assume you know just the basic controls, just what each button does, just to save me a bit of time. I will mention a few basic things that are lesser known here and there though. Uh, but I will still recommend you watch the, the video by the Apip Beast on basic and advanced movement that I left in this tutorial playlist, uh, just to give you a better insight on good movement. So anyways, let's start. Hold start once the screen fades to black. Hold down right. Switch a tiny bit more towards right around here and jump. Skip the text with L, R, and B. It can be L, R, and B, B, L, and R. Anything as long as it's those three buttons. Hold A to speed up this text. Then decline his help with B and skip the next text. Roll, jump flutter. Roll, jump fluttering is our fastest form of movement. Rolling is our fastest form of movement, but at the end, you slow down. So you jump flutter to keep your momentum, and then you can roll again. If you, roll, if you jump flutter fast enough, you can get what is known as a flutter cancel. Which just basically flutters you into the ground. Uh, it doesn't matter too much, but it's a nice small, small time save. Uh, rolling is the most important part, though. So just maximize your rolls as much as you can. Right here to the left of this crease right here is where you can backflip into the wall and get up. So you're going to roll into the wall and do the inputs as you're rolling to chain a backflip out of your roll. You should make it up here. Jump flutter. Roll, jump, peck this guy. Get this honeycomb and come over here. Try and jump flutter to change direction around this corner if you can. Right here, come to this side of the quarry. Uh, do a full beak barge up left, so hold B the entire time. Again, hold B the entire time. Walk this way. Right at this black mark is where we do our next beak barge. Hold B the entire time. And right at this black dot right here is where we do our last beak barge. Or right before it. Jump for that honeycomb and come over here. And we're going to go swimming. Just always hold R while you're swimming to get better turns, and always hold B just to swim as normal. Right here, you want to surface at the end of the stroke, so like right now. Just surface right after the fast part of the of the stroke. Come here. We're going to do this trunk jump. So to do this, you want to roll off a bit first, and then jump. Then peck right after the peak of your jump, and as long as you take a straight line, you should make it every time. So here, you want to make sure to roll from the middle of the trunk. If you roll from the side, then this will happen. Uh, if you roll from the middle, though, your roll will end in the air, so you won't get a slowdown. Let's come over here. Careful here, don't talk to Bottles. Uh, just don't press B around him. Roll backflip sort of to the left of the tree, just because it's higher ground. So chain a backflip out of your roll. Don't climb up the tree like this. That's a slow animation. You want to tap A to jump to the top of the tree. Jump for this honeycomb and turn. Roll, jump, flutter. Now cut this corner as much as possible. And now come over here. You want to roll to this corner right here and just do a jump, flutter. And you can just tap R to change the camera. Now we're just going to make our way towards the bridge. So we're going to roll, jump, peck. Jump flutter, roll, jump flutter, roll, chain a backflip out of your roll. Right here on this visual cue on the wall, that's where I like to start my backflip. One thing I want to mention about backflips, uh, if you want to roll or get in talent shot after a backflip, you have to wait for the, that entire animation to finish. However, you can jump and jump flutter right after a backflip before you can roll. So that's generally what we want to do after most backflips in the game. Uh, and that's what we're going to do here. Oops, I just missed. So, jump flutter, roll, jump flutter, all the way up to Spiral Mountain. So here we're going to do bottle skip. You're going to come around here. Don't go much higher than this, otherwise you'll activate bottles. And go, don't go too low, otherwise you won't get enough height. You're going to jump towards bottles, and then you're going to peck towards the bridge. And that's basically the gist of it. The rest is just practicing it, learning the muscle memory. And you want to practice it with like a consistent camera, so come down here every time. This is what it should look like. Something like that. Eventually you'll get it down. Anyways, enter the lair. 
hold start once the screen fades to black. You're gonna skip this grunty text while you're doing this first roll. Then continue on. Roll, jump, flutter, jump, jump, jump. Skip this text. It's important to skip that first grunty text so this jiggy can talk right away. Roll, flutter, and then we're just gonna make our way towards uh, the puzzle. Just really try and maximize your rolls. That's all you can really do. Flutter canceling doesn't really matter that much. It matters more about straight lines and maximizing your rolls. So skip the two text boxes, press A to put the piece in, watch the cutscene. Hold a tiny bit left of straight down, and then do a roll. Now we're just going to go enter Mumba's Mountain. And when we enter, we'll have all the moves. So in Talent Trot, our fastest form of movement, movement is jumping. Uh, it just accelerates us to our fastest uh, speed. It's not necessarily faster though. So full jump for this, hold back after to go land on the token. Get these three notes, come this way, these three. And then these three. Now up here we're going to get two or one here. Just take a straight line and don't hesitate at all. We're going to come back later to get the, the next one. Now enter Ticker's Tower. I'm going to be explaining slope abuse. Um, so normally we need the Ticker to go to climb this mountain. Uh, because we'll just slide off if we go up here. But when we're, when we're when our shadow is on a slope, a timer starts ticking down. And while that timer is ticking down... Um, we can do whatever we want. We can bear punch to stall the timer, we can roll to stall, stall the timer, and we can jump off. And once the timer reaches reaches its max, that's when we slide off. But if we get if we jump off and get our shadow off the slope and onto a platform where we can just normally walk, then the timer resets and it starts ticking down again once your shadow goes back on the slope. So if we manipulate that and just go off and on the slope before the timer reaches its max, then we can just climb up slopes indefinitely. So that's how this trick works. This first slope is not a, a slope with Talent Trot. I'm going to recommend you do this uh, first floor with Talent Trot. The second floor, as a beginner, you might want to do it without Talent Trot. Then the third floor, I'd recommend doing it with Talent Trot. To do this, basically, for, these, for all these platforms, you want to jump onto the front of them and not the sides. If you jump on the slides, the, sorry, the sides, it makes it much harder to manage the slope timer. So jump on the front there, then there, but that one's sort of an exception where you can jump on the sides, the side just because you can jump right away. This first floor is not super difficult, it just looks like this. Not many people have trouble with that, just try and copy what I do there. For this next floor it's pretty difficult because the camera's awkward and you have to change direction a lot. And Talent Trot is harder because you can't change direction in mid-air easily without using an awkward angle on the, on the joystick. It looks like this. If you're curious. Um, but this floor is especially crucial to not jump on the sides of the slopes. You really, 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 really want to jump onto the front of them. And then you can jump to the next one. So, uh, doing this without Talent Trot is much easier. Because you can jump in one direction, then flutter in another. So you can jump in front of the slope, and then flutter onto it, like from the front. So you avoid approaching it from the side. That's basically how you're going to do the, the, the second floor. So you can stall your timer here if you want by rolling or, or, pet or bear punching, but you don't need to. So jump in front of the slope, flutter on, jump in front, flutter on, jump up, flutter in. Now here, the fastest thing to do here is this. Make this in one jump. Whoops. Like that. Like this. Uh, it's a bit finicky. Basically, this floor is not equal here. So right here is a high point. You want to jump to a high point on the slope from the highest point on the ground. Then that'll give you an, enough height to make this in one jump. But that's kind of hard. If you don't want to do that, then come around here. Just jump anywhere on the slope. Then get your shadow off and on. Jump up here. Then just make your way to the top. This right here is not a slope, so just be aware of that, and that's it. Now come over here, jump all the way up here, do a jump right under the jiggy and skip its text. Skip this next text with LB, then tap R, because if you hold R, then the camera will change. Then roll up here and flutter. Get in talent drop, get all these notes. Now we're gonna go onto the stone hedge first. This is very specific to the reverse RBA route, because we need the token behind the stone hedge. 
get the Jinjo, peck into the Jiggy. You always want to peck into the Jiggies, so you don't watch the animation of getting out, getting out of Talent Trot. Come over here, get this token. Come down here. Get these notes. These notes. Oops. These notes. These ones. Get the Jinjo. The note order here can vary depending on who you watch. Uh, it doesn't matter too much, just try and do something that's fast. But what I do right there is the most optimal order. So get these notes and then come down here. Right here, uh, if you want to do Konga's orange pads in one cycle, which basically means he throws two oranges for two pads, then you have to jump like right before he makes the sound of throwing the orange, which is really, really prediction based. You'll get the feeling for it eventually, but as a beginner, you might just want to jump after you hear the sound. You'll have to wait an extra orange, but it's not that bad. So anyways, come over here. Now here, you're going to want to jump just not too high in the tree. Just jump like around here and jump flutter right away. If you're lower than the orange, you'll get it when you jump flutter. But if you're too high, then you'll take damage by Konga like that. So just don't be too high. And if you did the notes section optimally and the pad section optimally, then you have to skip a text while you're jump fluttering here. Because bottles gives you text box for getting 50 notes. So here you're gonna roll, jump, flutter here, jump towards Chimpy when the when the orange touches the ground, and skip the text. Now we're gonna get in talent shot, jump up here. And we're going to get in Talent Trot here and then talk to Bottles. You just want to press B while you're getting in Talent Trot. Because the game doesn't register you as in Talent Trot until you are fully in Talent Trot. So he's going to give me an extra text box here because I don't have full health. But normally you'll get two text boxes. Uh, but if you did this fast, the camera will be different. So you have to do this sort of awkward jump where you hold down and curve your joystick. And right here on this first platform, Konga is going to give you a text box. You're gonna shoot an egg right away, and you want to make sure to skip the text uh, before the egg hits him. It's very important to do that, otherwise you have to hit him four times and wait for his wait for him to beat his chest before you can hit him. It's really complicated. Uh, anyways, when he pulls his arm back here, that's when you shoot him the next time, and then you jump out of his out of the way. So shoot shoot the orange and get in talent shot. Now when he pulls his arm back this time. We're going to jump towards the next platform. I'll do this in fast motion, just so you can have an idea of what the movement looks like. But then I'll come back to just explain how to, how to do this jump. And jump over here and peck. So to do this jump, it's pretty simple. You just want to jump in the direction of this line right here. And then curve more towards right as you're jumping. Now come over here. We're going to do his third shot from here. A nice setup for this is come to the middle right here, the middle of all these circles. Hold Z, hold straight left, and shoot three eggs as you move the joystick a bit more down. And it should work every time. Skip the text. Now roll, jump, flutter for this uh, pad. We're going to hold down left here and roll off for the jiggy. But don't mash B. If you mash B, then there's this weird frame where you'll accidentally roll this way. Uh, this way. So just wait till you see Banjo, then roll down left. And now just hold whatever direction the orange pad is in for like one or two seconds and after you hear him throw the orange then walk towards the top left of the orange pad then get the jiggy during the cutscene now get in talent shot and we're gonna make our way back to mumbo's area come over here try and do as many jumps for this as possible try and slide as little as possible we're gonna come over here now we're gonna do this, we're gonna beak bust this hut, we're gonna recoil to the bottom left. It's not technically the optimal note order, but the note on the bottom left can jump over the fence sometimes, which can really ruin uh, your split here. So you just wanna get it first and then go clockwise. If that grublin is in the way, in, like, is on the second note, then you wanna jump and peck him first and then get in talent shot on the second note. It looks like this. Get this note now, jump here, peck this. Now, now if you do this optimally, Juju will be sort of around there, maybe a bit earlier in the cycle. Uh, Juju's cycle resets when you hit the Grunty switch. So you have to be optimal from there to here. I'm going to wait a bit just so I can make this cycle better. 
So for Juju, the first shot should be easy. You just want to shoot right into the middle of his head. Uh, and at, for every like other head, you want to make sure his head is fully on the ground before you shoot, shoot the next one. So what I would recommend is shoot an egg, turn the camera, walk around, then shoot an egg and repeat. For the second one, you have to wait a bit more. For the third one, you can do it right away. Uh, you want to jump here with a neutral stick, hold up and peck at the peak of your jump, and you should make it up there. Jump, peak bust for this. Now right here, uh, you want to recoil off a bit farther into the cycle, like right now. Right when you hit the ground there, look at where Juju is. You want to recoil a bit farther into the cycle than where he is. So if, in my case, I'll just go a bit up here and shoot him. And get the Jiggy, face towards that hut. We're going to roll off, then roll again, jump, beak bust this, roll, jump. Now here, a small detail. If you notice when I jump over this hut, uh, when I overtake the corner, I'm not on the hut yet. I'm in the air for a bit, and that's when you want to beak bust. Right there. Roll for the, roll for that Jinjo, roll, jump, flutter. Hold up a tiny bit here so you have some momentum, and backflip for this Jiggy. Get in Talent Trot as you walk off here. So just hold down, get in Talent Trot. Simple as that. And walk in. Take the path that I do here. Try not to wake up Mumbo. Just go around his trigger. It's much nicer to wake him up later. Come this way. Jump, peck. I like to zoom out and turn the camera once, just so I can hold straight right after this. Now you're gonna roll and jump and beak bust this. I want to mention a small detail here though. You want to jump a bit early. If you look right here, um, right here, look at Banjo's shadow. You can see it sort of moves up and down here. This whole yellow pathway has its own little platform. So if your roll ends on that platform, you'll be able to keep going. But with that, there's a small period in time where you can't jump. So you just want to make sure to jump before you reach the end here. Before you reach this little dip. And that's just a small important detail. You plus this and roll into the jiggy. Get in Talent Trot. I'm going to get these next three notes. These three. Peck into the jiggy. Now we're going to get that last note that we left earlier. From this way. Do a small jump here, then a big jump towards this alcove. Right at the back wall, you're just going to hold down. Just do a small jump, baby jump, hold down, and let go of Z. You should get a quick dive. I'll explain quick dives later, because this one's pretty easy. But I'll explain them more in depth in TDC. Now just hold the direction of the first note, mash B. And then swim for all these notes. Go up, hold down right, then hold down. Now we're going to do a Jinjo Jiggy j jiggy Jig skip. So we're going to jump peck into this Jinjo. Then a Jiggy is going to go flying into the air. We're going to center ourselves in the middle of the Jiggy's shadow. Then once the Jiggy is about to fall on us, we're going to jump into the water with the Jiggy. So it should look like this. Just like that. Now jump peck in the water or jump flutter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. Jump peck onto this. Oops. Get in Talent Shot. Come over here for these. You can jump for each of these notes, for all these notes like that, or you can just walk. Jumping for them is kind of hard. Come over here, peck onto this pad when you leave. Skip the text. Now normally I would show the layer sections for the uh, before the levels, but in this video I'm going to make an exception because I want to show this termite skip. So to do this we're going to backflip on, bear punch, jump off, and we're going to flutter back on. It's really crucial to flutter to change direction. So it looks like this. Flutter to change direction like that. If you flutter too early, so like this, you won't get any momentum. You want to change direction as you flutter. And then once you go back on the mountain, you're going to jump, flutter, roll. So just mash A, A, B. So bear punch, get your shadow off the edge, jump, flutter back on, mash A, A, B. Then you're going to roll. Then you're going to do a big jump, so hold A, then beak bust right before you hit the mountain. This is just a big slope abuse. So it should look like that. That's the fastest way to do it. Um, alternatively, you can, an easier way to do this is to do the same thing. So AAB, then ZA instead of AB, then backflip. Just to get you more height. Um, a slightly easier way to do both of these 
is to roll here instead of backflipping, uh, instead of bear punching, because it gives you a tiny bit more height. And then do whatever you want. Uh, the easiest way, though, is to do two slope abuses. So right now we only do one when we bear punch and jump off. But an easier way is to do two slope abuses, where you bear punch, jump off, flutter back on, roll, jump off, flutter back on, roll, backflip. Uh, basically, you just want to jump, uh, flutter back on once you sh once the shadow's off the mountain. So it's kind of just when it's off the screen. So it looks like this. Oops, I didn't get my shadow off there. Just like that. And you can backflip or just jump. So yeah, that's Mumba's Mountain. I hope that helps, and I'll see you in the next video.